Hello everyone, I'm Rehan from NYU Shanghai Class 2018. My machine learning final project is image restoration based on convolutional neural network. Firstly, I would like to give an overview and motivation about my project. What is image restoration? Image restoration is the operation of taking a corrupt or noisy image and estimating a clean original image. Corruption may come in many forms such as motion blur, noise, and camera misfocus. In my project, what I did was to use machine learning algorithm to increase the quality of images, such as image deburring, image denoising, and image super resolution. For super resolution part, I was not just rescaling or increasing the size of the images. I would like to increase the quality of the images at the same time. Here are some examples about three kinds of images. Blur image is improved, but it lost some details. A noisy image may influence the overall effect of the images. Sometimes when you find a nice picture with low resolution, you may feel annoyed because it cannot be said as your wallpaper for the resolution cannot fit your screen. In some traditional methods, we use Gaussian blur, average filter, or other filters to denoise the images. For the image deburring, we use Laplace operator and a sharp mask to sharpen the images. And we use a big cubic interpolation to do super resolution things. But in fact, big cubic interpolation is not a super resolution algorithm, it just increases the size of the images. Of course, there are some limitations in traditional methods. For the denoising part, the Gaussian blur or other blur method may sacrifice some details of the images. And the deblurring algorithm is not natural enough, may add some noise to the images sometimes. For the super resolution part, the BQB interpolation cannot increase the quality of the images, so it just increases the size of the images. They have some Similarity, they all use pure mathematical method to compute the RGB value of pixels. So my purpose is to preserve of the original textures and increase or preserve the quality of Im images. Also, my method makes the images more natural after restoration. By the way, sometimes I just want a nice wallpaper for my laptop or smartphone. So let's get to the algorithm part. Firstly, let me introduce perception algorithm, which is a simple supervised learning algorithm for binary classification. Because it's too simple, function is limited. Then inspired by perception, we have a new algorithm called a neural network. This is an algorithm based on the biological neural networks and simulated in a computer way. For each layer of neural networks, it consists of numbers of neurons and neurons in different layers are connected with each other. Convolutional neural network is a type of normal neural network, but this is more motivated by the vision part of creatures, so it can be very suitable to do some image analysis. Also, because of its convolutional layers, it can be more efficient than normal full connected neural networks. Here are some examples about convolutional neural networks. Here we can see the structures of uh, CNN and we can learn how it works here. For my convolutional neural network, it is trained with a large amount of data to extract features. As we know, for each image, it has lots of pictures because it has more than billions of pixels in it. Then we need to choose a proper loss function to carry the loss. Loss is important to update the hyperparameter. Then we use a backpropagation algorithm to update the hyperparameter for each layer in the network. The data I use are from image net. So here I use 1256 times 256 RGB images. 
the tools I use here, we use Python as my programming languages, and I use NumPy, Theano, Keras, OpenCV, Scikit-Image, and Scikit-Learn models. For the preprocessing sub parts, I crop each images as 64, 32 times 64 RGB images. So I regard them as ground truth images, which is also called label data. So finally, I have 64,000 images in total. Then I resize and blur and add noise to the ground truth images to generate the training data. For the normalization pr process, for each pixel, the RGB value is divided by 255. So I, my purpose is to map the RGB value to run 0 to 1. For the inspiration of my algorithm is O2 encoder. This is a kind of a neural network, but it also an unsupervised learning algorithm that applies backpropagation, setting the target value to be equal to the input. So for example, it's fx equal to x to find this kind of a function. So for the structure of my CNN, so I use a three-layer CNN. So they have similar structures for deburring, denoising, and the super resolution part. And for the deburring part, I use three com net. The first com layer is 64 filters with nine times nine filter size, and second is 32 filters with five times five filter size. And then the last one is the three filters and then five times five filter size. The reason the last last numbers of the filters must be three is that the dimension of a picture is three, RGB three. So there is not much difference between the denoising and the super resolution CNN. The only difference is that the, they have different number of filters and the different filter size. So for the loss function, we, we need to we use it to train the model. So we using CNN to map map our training image to our predicted images. Then we calculate the loss between the predicted images and ground truth images. The mean square error loss is calculated by doing subtraction between the pixels in ground truth images and training images. So here is like this. For example, for Pictures XI, we calculate the MSE between pixels XI, M, N, K, and YI, M, N, K. Here, M is equal to the number of rows, and A is equal to the number of columns, and K is equal to red, green, or blue. In backpropagation part, to train the hyperparameter in CNN, we use backpropagation gradient descent to update the value of each hyperparameter. To make the loss converge faster, I use adding adaptive movement estimation, gradient descent to accelerate the process, which makes the loss converge faster. So adding is a kind of awesome gradient descent method. For more details, you can search the kind of finding in this paper. Learning rate is set between 0 0.00001 and 0 0.0003, which helps to approach the global minimum. So I have do lots of experiment on learning rate. So I find if I put learning rate in this range, I will get a better result. So after 10 hours of training with 100 epochs for the burning network and the noisy network, and 150 epochs for super resolution network on GPU, finally the logs for all three networks successfully converge. Then I save the weights of the networks for the predicting process. Here are some results about it. So here's first one is the result for the blurring. The left side of the picture is is picture with Gaussian blur with sigma 0 0.8. Then I put these pictures in the CNN and restore it here. So we can find that the texture are much more clear than that. In the Then second is the result of denoising. So on the left side, I add Gaussian noise in those pictures and with sigma 10, and then put the noisy pictures in the CNA and get a clear image here. For 
On the super resolution part, I rescale with vector 3, and on the left hand side, I use BQB interpolation to rescale the images. And then I put these images in my RCNA model, and I train and I get a clear images here. So we can find the texture here is much more clear than here. So for the features of my CNA model, it's different from using mathematical method to calculate the RGB value of pixels. Convolutional neural network predicts RGB value of pixels with quantities of image features, which can make the image more natural after going through the CNA. So meanwhile, in the flexible method, where we can adjust the structure of the network to make the result different. For example, if you want to add some style to the pictures, you can just adjust the structure of the scene. You can get the result what you want and you want. The more training data we use to train the scene mode, the better result we can get after the process. So that is a general conception of supervised machine learning algorithm. More, the more training data, the better result. Of course, I have some limitation in this project. Limited by the computation power of my computer, it's hard for me to train the CNN model with deeper structure or more data, which may take lots of time. So the performance of my CNN model can still be improved with some more powerful GPU. Also, it's hard to find the best structure or hyperparameter of DBD and SRCNN. So maybe the setting of my CNN is not the best one. Maybe in the future I found better one. In fact, it's not. It's hard to find the best one. You can always find a better one. So for the future research, so as I mentioned above, it may take time to optimize the structure of convolutional neural network. Also, what's more important, I was inspired by this CNN model, and I'm considering whether I can use RNN recurrent neural network to get a better performance on image restoration. Of course, similar to image restoration, can we use similar method to restore sound? Because we can find many similarities between the sound and the light. So that's the point. So that's all, thank you. Maybe in the future, you can use my model to create your own beautiful wallpapers.